हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो ऑन ह्यूमन रिप्रोडक्शन पार्ट वन इज ब्रॉट टू यू बाई एग्जाम फ्यूर डॉट कॉम नो मोर फ्यूर फ्रॉम एग्जाम टॉपिक्स टू बी कवर्ड इन दिस लेसन आर द मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम द फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम गैमेटोजिनेसिस मैंस्ट्रुअल साइकिल फर्टिलाइजेशन एंड इम्प्लांटेशन pregnancy and embryonic development and parturition and lactation here in this lesson we are exclusively going to talk about how reproduction take place in human beings like in our previous lessons in previous two lessons we spoke about the basics of reproduction we saw how what are the different ways by which reproduction can take place like both sexual mode as well as asexual mode we also spoke about how sexual reproduction take place in plants so here in this uh, lesson we will see exclusively how the process of reproduction will take place in human beings so as we all know reproduction is the process by which living organisms produce new organisms similar to themselves so that is why so here while we discuss this lesson we are entirely going to talk only about human beings so no other animals so in case of human beings we all would have seen that we all uh, are given birth by our parents right so basically the mother gives birth to the baby and that is how the process continues and that is how more and more human beings are produ are uh, produced on this earth so that is the process of reproduction for human beings so in this lesson like how we see it is not only something which is very exclusive to human beings it happens in all animals whether you talk about giraffe elephant fishes birds insects so everywhere reproduction is there but we are going to focus on how human reproduction occurs because uh, the basic concept of sexual reproduction will remain the same everywhere the same uh, events which we have discussed in our first lesson where you have a gametogenesis followed by a gamete transfer then fertilization and then the embryo development so those steps will be common to all the animals but the difference lies in the structure of the reproductive system the way a human body is organized their reproductive system is going to be a lot different from the reproductive system of other animals like fishes or giraffe or elephant right okay so let us exclusively start discussing sexual reproduction in humans now in human beings we know that uh, as far as the process of reproduction is concerned there are two modes of reproduction sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction so in sexual reproduction two parents are needed that is a father and a mother two parents are needed whereas in asexual reproduction you just need one parent and that one parent can give rise to new organisms but in human beings sexual reproduction is the only mode of reproduction so this is the only mode so there is no asexual reproduction in human beings so whenever you talk about reproduction in human beings you always need two parents so you need a mother and a father and both of them together will be able to give birth to a young one whether it is a boy or a girl so we here we will see how this thing it actually happens now the first question that comes to our mind is um, the human beings can undergo sexual reproduction but does that mean that they can sexually reproduce throughout their life obviously not we discussed about the three phases in the life of every organism whether it is a plant or an animal or human beings so you have a juvenile phase and then a reproductive phase and finally the aging phase correct so in human beings also you have a specific reproductive phase and in that reproductive phase only the human being is capable of reproducing or capable of undergoing sexual reproduction so with the, in that regards we will talk about puberty so what is puberty it is nothing but another term for adolescence so you will see that when when a baby is born it is too small right and then the baby starts growing it increases in height increases in weight it's uh, it, all the body parts start increasing or growing proportionately but after a certain age the physical growth stops but the reproductive growth starts and that is 
when you say that the the guy or the girl is actually transforming into an adult so that intermediate phase between your childhood and adulthood is known as adolescence so that is also known as puberty so it is the period during which the rate of general body growth slows down so that is when you say general body growth you mean the increase in weight increase in height those kind of things so they all slow down so not too much of growth in those aspects however the reproductive tissues start maturing so the reproductive parts of the body start getting mature so they start getting prepared themselves so that they can enter into the reproductive phase so that this phase in human beings is termed as adolescence or puberty so the period i mean at what age does a person enter into adolescence now this differs in case of males as well and in case of females so if you talk about a human male they generally reach their puberty at the age of around 13 to 14 years so in the picture you can see that this is a small boy he is actually a kid but when this this small boy reaches and is around 13 to 14 years old you actually tend to see some of the changes in that boy which says that he is gradually trying to enter into adulthood and that phase when these changes start appearing for the first time that is the adolescence or puberty so in male it comes around when the person is 13 to 14 years old however in case of females it comes a little earlier so when the female is around 11 to 13 years old that time certain changes are being seen so here you can see this is a small girl however this is a this is not a small girl the girl is actually entering the adult phase so you can actually see there are certain changes even in the physical appearance of the person when he or she enters into adolescence now the question is how do we know i mean what are the changes that actually take place inside the body of a person when he or she enters puberty so let us quickly look at the changes which are generally seen in a, in an individual when he or she reaches puberty so first let us talk about a male so what are the changes that that uh, actually depicts that a guy is entering from the childhood phase into the adolescence thick hair growth under armpits and genital area so to in and surrounding of the genital area there is uh, quite thick hair growth also under the armpits facial hair appearance of hair on the face because you would have seen that if you look at babies whether it is a baby boy or a baby girl there there is no hair on their body not much hair on their body especially on the face on the face whether it is a baby boy or a baby girl they do not have any hair but when you look at an adult an adult man and a woman you see women they do not have much hair on their face but men they do have hair so this appearance of facial hair starts when the man when the person reaches his puberty change in voice because the voice becomes uh, more hoarse when compared to to what it was when he was a kid occasional penis enlargement so the penis tends to get enlarged at certain times similarly in case of females also you see a certain changes for example start of menstruation cycle so every 28 days there is a bleeding which takes place through the vaginal opening so what is this bleeding what is menstruation cycle we will talk about that towards now as you go ahead with this lesson so this change start this is a major change which start which starts in a female and this says that she is entering into the reproductive phase breast enlargement appearance of the breasts this this also gets accompanied with the menstruation cycle hair growth under armpits and genital area so these are some of the changes which actually tell that a person whether a male or a female is reaching puberty or adolescence now once they enter adolescence that means that they have entered into the reproductive phase of their life so once a human being is into the reproductive phase then he or she is capable of undergoing sexual reproduction so this is the time i mean when a female is female is more than 11 or 13 years old and a male is around 13 14 years old so generally by that time they reach adolescence and after that they enter into the reproductive phase of their life 
So now let us look at the process of the sexual reproduction. That is how the sexual reproduction actually take place. Now from our knowledge of the basics of sexual reproduction, we know that it is nothing but a series of a couple of events. Like the first thing is gametogenesis. Now whenever we talk about sexual reproduction, what do we I mean, what do we say? We say that in sexual reproduction, that we need a male, we need a female, and there will be gametes being produced from both the male and the female, and those gametes will fuse together to form a new organism. Correct? So now, in order that the gametes have to fuse, first of all, the gametes need to be produced, and that is what happens in gametogenesis. That is, this is the stage where gametes are formed, the male gamete and the female gametes are formed. Now, once the gametes are formed, then the gametes need to meet in order to fuse. So that transfer of gametes so that they both can meet and they can fuse together, that is, that comes under gamete transfer. Then happens the fertilization, that is the main step of sexual reproduction. So in the, this fertilization step, the actual fusion between the male gamete and the female gamete takes place. And this in turn is followed by the formation of a zygote. Now when the male gamete and the female gamete fuse, so first of all the male gamete and the female gamete they are formed. Now the male gamete and the female gamete are transferred in such a way that they both meet. Now, once they meet the male and the female gamete, they fuse together. Now, when they, once they fuse together, they form a new cell, which is called zygote. Then what happens to that zygote? That zygote has to gradually grow and develop into an embryo. And that embryo should gradually develop into a new individual. So these are the four steps which completes the entire process of sexual reproduction in human beings. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.